Well, it's a terrific atmosphere and um, let's enjoy it. It's uh, Portsmouth versus Arsenal for a place in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Our comedy team here at Fratton Park, Mark Lawrenson and Barry Davis. Well, we await the two teams and they will come out into a fine atmosphere, but just very light rain. We've had uh, a bit in the last hour, which will give the pitch a bit of a zip and uh, a special evening for Pompey and I hope that at least their chimes can ring out for a while against the best side in the country. Alongside me, Mark Lawrenson. Are you as pessimistic about P Portsmouth's chances as the guys in the studio? Not quite as pessimistic, Barry. I think uh, the important thing for Portsmouth today when you see the lineups, uh, who's that fellow? Oh, yeah, it's the best. Um, the, important, the important thing today when you see the lineups with, with the role of Berkovic within the team structure for Portsmouth. That's his son Callum with him, and uh, Milan Mandric, uh, the Portsmouth chairman, has long been a friend since uh, George played in Los Angeles. That's one of the reasons why they're here. George never played in a cup final, did he? No, I don't believe he did, did he? Apart from the, of course, the European Cup final, not the FA Cup final, certainly. And on the pitch comes a team that, whose members have played in more cup finals than most current players. A team in yellow from Arsenal. Rather cloudy night sky. Need flash on the uh, camera. Have they caused upsets before Portsmouth, as we saw from that final in 1939, when Wolves were not quite as preeminent as Arsenal, but uh, finished runners-up in the league championship that year when Portsmouth were having a battle at the bottom of the table. But the current Portsmouth side showing just two changes from that which beat Liverpool in the replay here just uh, a fortnight ago. Andy Fay from Senegal comes into midfield and Ivica Mona from Croatia up front. Dejan Stefanovic has joined the injured list and Kevin Harper is among the substitutes. The uh, Arsenal team has been well trailed. The uh, lack of Bergkamp and Pires. The back four is as usual. In the midfield, only Jungberg is a natural wide player. And uh, Jose Reyes, who introduced himself to the FA Cup in some style, to put it mildly, against Chelsea, is the partner for Thierry Henry up front. And among the substitutes, significant names on the Portsmouth bench. Teddy Sheringham, who scored against the Gunners in the league match, which ended 1-1 back at the start of the season, and Steve Stone are both on the way to recovery, and uh, Richard Hughes, who scored the goal, which beat Liverpool, will be hoping for another chance against Arsenal, for whom he was a youth player. I think in terms of the game, Barry, really, for, uh, for Arsenal, they'll be looking at the development of the partnership between Reyes and, and Henri, obviously, up front. And as you said before about Berkovic for Portsmouth, such an important player. If he has a, he has a good day today and get lots of the ball to him, um, he might just be able to unlock this Arsenal defence. Oh, we're approaching... Spring just round the corner, but at the moment we're in winter, and this evening we're with Mr. Jeff Winter in charge. Arsene Wenger, what a season his team are having! How well they responded to their fall from grace at the back end of last season. The uh, two captains, Nigel Krasi, once of uh, Prince Park Rangers and also of Nottingham Forest and Patrick Vieira. And uh, looks as though Vieira called right and the two teams are going to turn round. Here is young Reyes. It's not easy at such a tender age, only a teenager still, to uh, adjust to uh, playing in English football and a, a cup tie which is Certainly going to be very demanding because clearly Portsmouth have got to uh, stop Arsenal playing in their usual style. 
be interesting to see their approach. Not many giving them any chance at all. The rain is a little harder now. But uh, with the oval ball, it's been a day of surprises. So what about with the round ball in the evening? Uh, one or two people have pointed out to me that the last time they got to the uh, semi-final, uh, it's a chain that's got to be removed uh, by Berkovic. Last time Portsmouth threw in the semi-final, they beat Nottingham Forest here in the sixth round, and I have to say that yours truly was the commentator, so some of the locals think I might be lucky for them. My co-commentator probably thinks something entirely different. I might remind you about that statement later tonight. With uh, a broken finger in his left hand, which is an index finger, it's strapped to the next one, so he's got a specially improvised glove to help him out. The cap holders against, apparently, the no-hopers. I would just point out that Portsmouth, for the first time, have a team in the semi-final of the English school's FA Trophy. So the seniors have to live up to the youngsters. Campbell left it just slightly late for his first clearance. And the two central defenders... Portsmouth, Primus and Zeyu. They held Michael Owen. Last week they held Alan Shearer. And now they have to hold Thierry Henry. Could call it a learning curve of the sharpest style. Berkovic. Termination from Vieira. Say. And Gilberto has started off on the right side. Oh! Off the crossbar from Reyes. Mustn't be rattled, Portsmouth. This is Edu. But you can understand them being rattled. Certainly the crossbar was. Really hectic pace in a difficult wind and driving right. It's a brilliant piece of skill, wasn't it? Under control, instantly hit it, minimum back lift, keeper well beaten. Yeah, there's a shot certainly deserving of a goal. Would have continued what he showed against Chelsea. And uh, Shaka Hislop was certainly well beaten. See, Portsmouth have just positioned Berkovic. He's, he's almost playing just behind the front two, and he's, he's a key for them, we said before today, and if we can get the ball to him to help the, help the front two, certainly. by Primus. Great touch by Lundberg, really, right into the path of Cole, exactly where he wanted the ball. Ari going to take Lundberg on the goal line. Vieira in a line with the far post. Gilberto, Toure, Edu and Campbell all prepared to attack from the 18-yard line. And it beats everybody. They've got a touch of somebody because it's another corner. His stop just got a, a finger to it, I think. Yes, he did, and it was a needed one, too. Another swirler to test. That's well played. Real pace on the corner from Maury. 
Yeah, there's all sorts of bodies as well. I think Arsenal positioned a player just in front of him to try and put him off. A comfortable catch from his lap. Monar couldn't get to it. Tassin and the Finn forward. And sudden concern. But look at the number of Arsenal players battling around the ball. And they get it away eventually. Given away by Quasi, and here's Henri just onside. He had a little bit of luck then, Primus, but then used that luck extremely well. This is Faye. And the free kick has been given against the original challenge by Reyes. Great play by Primus, wasn't it? For all intents and purposes, looked like Henri was away. What a pretty useful start, the young Spaniard. Here's Berkovic. Here's Mornar. Yakubu waiting in the middle. Quasi is square. Mornar doing a few circles. Berkovic. Schmertin, the Russian. Mornar. Making inroads. Reyes again the provider. Good positioning by the Zayu. Alexis Merton. Offside Mona. Quite interesting that uh, Portsmouth are going for the physical approach barriers. There's one or two people, as, as I always say, in Arsenal are invincible and they're absolutely brilliant at the, at the moment. There's a theory around there with Premier League clubs that if, if you are aggressive and really do put them under pressure, certainly at, at the back, I think there may be rewards for teams. Hurry. Hey, gets away with a bit of a push. And the free kick is to Portsmouth for the second challenge. Fascinating. Berkovic, Quasi, and every Arsenal player is behind the ball. Taylor wants it forward, not clear with comfort, this is Mornar, but that isn't the sort of shot to bother Jens Lehmann. Well, it was a direct route as well, the first ball in, which uh, Thierry didn't deal with particularly well. Youngberg. Passing in the pin, but Lundberg, the three, takes over. That's a fine tackle by Primus. Six minutes gone, two excellent interceptions by Primus. One on Henri, one on Lundberg. Again, Ari to take the corner. And the rain will knock down from the spirits down there. Lots of movement in the box for Arsenal, but it's too long. Arsenal, should they claim the victory today, would be in their 24th semi-final, which would be a new record. They're currently on 23, shared with Everton. Reached five semi-finals in the last six seasons. I think every FA Cup game for them this season has been against the uh, Premier League opposition, hasn't it? Yeah, won't get there. Yes, Leeds, Middlesbrough, Chelsea and now Portsmouth. Arsenal's run at this stage. Blackpool, Scunthorpe. Liverpool and now Arsenal is Portsmouth. Well. Left by Bazeo. Bazeo played in the uh, Premiership for Barnsley and then went off to Wigan. Mona, elected by Jungberg. Edu. Senegalese 
putting himself about a bit. Injury kept him out of the African Nations Cup. Who's in the World Cup squad and team? Touré. Met by Passina. Reyes. The area traded in quickly to Reyes, and again it was Primus. Just an excellent reading of the situation as well. The cross, he just knew that he had to get there, otherwise, Arsenal had a, a fantastic chance of lovely ball in. Primus played a couple of games for Charlton in the first division, and then the Barnet and Reading. Tremendous game uh, against Liverpool and apparently played well against Newcastle as well. It's given away in the end, it's trying to be a touch clever. Vieira. Lauren. Solidly out with the Zeyu. Well pulled down by Mornar. This is Brekovic. Toure closing the door. But here's Smirtin. 30 and 39. Working well together. 30 stumbling his way through. Very strong challenge by Toure with a fair one. Primus, Faye, Passana. That's a lively opening, Mark. It's excellent, nice and physical as well. That's well played by Yakudu. And he's got his free kick. Silly, unnecessary challenge. First real opportunity this will be for just a late after the ball was played, which is a complete waste. But first real opportunity to, for Portsmouth. Zeyu is the furthest over to the left from the kicker's point of view and being pushed further wide. Jim Smith, Harry Redknapp's sidekick. Hesitate to call him number two because they work so well together. Let's come down to the edge of the manager's area. Lots of pointing going on. Zayo trying to lose his marker. Uh, worked on the training ground, but not here. And uh, it's thought to be an unnecessary challenge by uh, Taylor, but the referee quite happy about it. Oh, it had to be so inch perfect to. Uh... Be good for Portsmouth, certainly nasty cold, just read the situation. This is Henri. This is Faye. Cole picking up a few boos, which is a bit harsh. It's brilliantly done by Jungberg. Roberto Silva over to the right, that's Henri. Play on, says the referee, good advantage. Edu. Toure. Vieira. Down by the Brazilian. And he scored the winning goal against Southampton. Last May. Very well watched. Collected by Mornar. May 
amazingly stayed in play. It was a sort of tackle from behind coming from an unexpected direction. Ah, free kick is given. The use of an arm quickly taken. Hardly from the right place, but never mind. Gilberto again has made tracks on the right. Taylor has now spotted him. Taylor in the left back position rather than from left midfield. As possibly prefers. Certainly did the damage when he came on against Liverpool in the first match at Anfield. Scored a lovely goal. Smertin, Morna, Berkovic, no width, had to go that way. Lauren. Ari. To applauded by Henri. I thought Fire was unlucky. I think he read the situation, spotted the danger, and he was already making the tackle as Henri was trying to get past him. Wasn't quite as in textbook there, was it? Uh, Henri is going to take this. Surely not going for goal. He is, you know. Not, uh, not worthy of. Either Gascoigne or Waddle. Remember their goals at Wembley in the uh, semi finals. We've had the first quarter of an hour. It's been fun to watch. Quite demanding to play, I would think. He almost got that. It's well cleared by Campbell. Edu. Jungberg. He's got a runner either way. And now a third coming up behind Henri, who was Cole. Reyes going out to the left. Gilberto once again has found space on the right. But the pass is not accurate enough. Berkovic. Taylor so determined. Quasi. And he read that comfortably. Silva. Morna coming to make a bit of trouble. Only Yakubu left up, but now Yakubu is goal side, but Morna's moved up. And that's Campbell. Didn't really get hold of it. He looked good until he got to the edge of the area, and I think that's when the nosebleed set in. And he scored once this season. Morna has been left. Down in a heap on the halfway line, but this is Yakubu. Gilberto puts the ball out. Well, he's certainly got a knock from Toure. Harry Redknapp, the manager, alongside uh, Milan Mandric in the stand. But down in the area is Jim Smith, assisted by uh, Kevin Bond. Good job, you can't lip read, Barry. Well, if it gets a bit cold here, Mark, we can always ask Jim to say a few words. That'll, that'll warm us up. Oh, that's a difficult one for Taylor. But he's recovered it well. He's even managed to keep it in play. Ori.
just by Taylor. Cole. Berkovic. Harried by Edu. Not well passed. He's got to make certain when he gets possession. Berkovic is a gifted player, but he can get caught in possession and sometimes he's a little wayward having got himself into a good position. Primus for the first time slightly caught. Taylor and Ari. And Ari a little wild at the end, but nothing vindictive. Taylor actually did really well for Thierry Henry because he just got up straight from the tackle. No overreaction, no feigning of injury. Down he goes, straight back up. I think Henry's looking. I think there was real intent there. Well, he continued to protest his innocence for a long time. And there's a line that covers that in the French. He can't complain about Taylor because Taylor did really well for him. Gilberto, Vieira. Dragovic to Mora. Oh, he wanted the extra touch, and now another touch. And it was at least two too many. throw, says the official on that side. Well, there was no great conviction about the first touch from Mono, was it? Sort of in first touch out the feet, try and hit it across the goalkeeper, it's wet. Barry just had a very, very heavy shower, who knows? Yes, you feel... Uh, put it this way, I feel that they're playing well. Portsmouth at the moment and doing all the sort of things they have to do to disrupt Arsenal. But when a chance like that comes, you have to have a go and trouble the goalkeeper. Especially against this side. Today, had an outstanding season, a major factor in uh, the all round quality of the Arsenal side. I think Portsmouth have been very clever about this. The, the virtually letting Campbell and Toure have the ball. They're just sitting off them and they're saying, come on then, trying to draw them out, trying to play through, and then they're just trying to pinch the ball and try and play Mornar or Yokubu through. Hey, Passanen. It's through to Yakubu. Holds off Toure well, looks for Mornar. It's a fine ball, covered by Cole, even so. I tell you that referee's assistant on the far side is, is getting it from everywhere. Mr. Babsky. I'm sure it won't be the first time and he can put up with it. Shouldn't have to in some cases. It's an Arsenal throw. Or is it a free kick? No, it's a throw. And, uh, not for the first time, Ashley Cole is trying to referee the game as well as play. <laughs> Just those little incidents can rattle even the most uh, calm, assured team. Got a sharp challenge by the captain, Vieira. This is another little indication, perhaps, I think here as well, after the wasting of the other free kick on the edge of the area, good delivery from Berkovic. Met by Campbell, this is Yakubu. Berkovic, they're looking for the square pass to gulp it up. Arsenal, Yakubu, very confident with the ball at his feet. Ashley Cole does well. 
do feel that Portsmouth need to have something to show for the uh, form they are producing. They need a goal at this stage. First run, and it's intercepted, but only to Henri, and Henri scores. And it was Reyes's run which caused the problem, and the attempt to intercept simply set up Thierry Henri, and Arsenal have the lead. Well, it's just it's just a great touch when the ball comes to Henri out of his feet, opens himself up. Great finish. Poor Shaka Hislov had to adjust his position all over the place. He just could do nothing about it at the finish. But look at those faces of the defenders and the face of the scorer. After his little contretemps in the corner a few minutes ago, he feels a man justified. You can see the difference between the two sides as well. That Mornar's chance, and you know, he didn't even get a shot in in the end. And Henri, all right, if it was an easier chance, but he's only thinking goal all the time. But one or two people have told me that Reyes is finding it difficult to adapt to the Premiership. Well, on the evidence of the Chelsea game and everything he's done here, because it was his run that caused the problem then. It was. No problems for Jens Lehmann. Taylor. On a slippery top. And Zayu doing all what he could do in the circumstances. Important for Fortson now not to concede another goal. <laughs> Noise from the Arsenal fans who are more used to celebrations. Silverto. <laughs> Campbell. Cole. Pretty useful ball, but covered by Primus. Physical sign either the um, Antoine Edu Lauren again Gilberto was unmarked out by Primus Edu well. here's a goal again isn't it unfortunate really Portsmouth trying to make the interception but he always felt once it came to Henri. It was goal. And the usual sign of success from the manager of Thierry Henry. And uh, certainly Arsene Wenger, I think, deserves huge credit for how he changed this player. Who came to him, and you should remember, he was a winger in the 1998 French side. And he's converted him into perhaps the most potent striker in the world. Okay, he had the sort of waywardness that seems to uh, be with wingers. It's a good play. Speaks volumes for his coaching ability. 
Yeah, Loren as well. Loren will be another one, won't he? To add to that, it's obviously a different position, but done wonderfully well with him. You could also pick them. I mean, look at young Clichy, who's on the substitute spread. And they're all athletes, Barry, as well. That's the difference. Given away by Faye. And here's Reyes and Primus trying to get to him. Henri has gone to the back of the box. <laughs> Well, that would have been a bit cheeky if he'd have squeaked that one in. He's got a corner. They called him a teenager, he's just 20, in fact, Ray. Right? Well, that tells the story, doesn't it? 5 nil in corners, 1 nil in goals for all the efforts of the home side. Long to the back again, and it's another corner off the head of Dezeu. Corner coming uh, just as we move into the final quarter hour of the opening 45. Patrick Vieira getting a pretty solid forehead to that. It's a good chance, this. Very, very good chance. He was free, probably only saw it very, very late, but he still made very good contact on it. Taylor was the man on the post, but <laughs> I suspect that if it, it would have been quite difficult to go in had he been just inside the post with his header, because he was falling backwards. Mona. It's a good stretch for Aturi. Quasi. Mona trying to get through, but certainly not a foul. <laughs> Goes down like a giant redwood. Seeking a... Kevin Bond coming out to have a word with Quasi, and Quasi's touch took him to the left, but he wanted a touch that took him exactly the other way. Here is Kevin Bond, son, of course, of John, Terry, Terry Sheringham in the back there, around there. Lauren. Torre. Certainly put under pressure by Faye. Cole, Ari, Brimes. Taken by Schmertin. Fassenden. Berkovic. Don't think Berkovic is helping his side when he dwells on it like that. And in the end, everything comes to nothing. The everything being lots of runners who didn't receive the ball. Again, good play by Primus. Now Schmertin. Hurdled well. Yakubu, absolutely determined, but I'm afraid that will be a free kick against him. He was a little bit too zealous. The thing was, he, he was forcing Campbell back. There was, there's no real need to make any great contact because he was under trouble, he was under pressure. Graceful was the leap. Schmertin. Quasi. Taylor. Bergovic. Hey. Out to Edu. Forward for Ari. Primus with him. Just does enough to hold him up. Here's Reyes. Clearance by Passanen. Edu. Strong 
slave rides it to say it's what's rare in the last five to ten minutes more and more coming into the game and coming off his markers as well and turning and posing all sorts of problems for Portsmouth all right Lauren three options every time an Arsenal player gets the ball and fortunately for Portsmouth is probably one and at times certainly midfield in the last few minutes there has been none it's prone to that from time to time Jens Lehmann a rather casual and poor clearance this is Jungberg goalkeeper started to come oh, manages to make the save from Edu Lauren Primus Vieira Well, I think this Arsenal chance is, is them at the finest great flip by Henri Timing of the pass by Lundberg vision from Henri again well struck by uh, Adrian and very very good save by Shaka Hislop That's that's real real class football Early Burley FA Cup tie. There are odd moments when you can see a team certainly good enough to win the Champions League. They look pretty happy with life. I suspect the Arsenal fans were a little bit worried at the beginning. The Akubu is offside. him out in comes Schmertin this is Faye needs hitting Zeu shout from Pat Rice of get out oh that's a bit short very very well played by Shaka Hislop goodness me Warner, Taylor. Beautifully done by Morna. Oh, that was a chance. It was Krasi who played it in, and Morna who just couldn't get a touch on the near post. a bit and the referee in the end gives the free kick you can imagine the referee understandably always wanting to see whether Henri could squirm away from that such is his ability to get out of uh, many a trap he wants to take all the set pieces is Henri you see how often the referees get Players back the right distance. Out by the Zeu. Torre, everybody wants to have a crack at goal. Edu just couldn't reach it. At least not to turn it in the desired direction. But a man who scored for Arsenal in every competition this season, and the only one to do so. Got a couple against uh, Celta Vigo. Uh, start of the knockout stages of the. Uh, European Champions Cup. 
can't really call it Champions League anymore because it's a cup competition. This is Morna. <laughs> Morna goes down. Gilberto runs away. And here's Henri. Might have gone anywhere. Came out Portsmouth's way. But that was a lovely little cameo involving Mornar and uh, Vieira and the referee because Vieira thought the free kick was going to be given and just couldn't quite understand it when the referee wasn't giving the free kick against him. But he'll give a free kick there for the tackle from behind by Edu. Mornar again. Belter is being shouted at every time Matthew Taylor makes a run forward, but now they're a little bit short. Support all around, all sorts of options for Jungberg. This is Henri, one way and then the other. He did a good job, the defender, to see Yes, he did extremely well, actually, because Henri tried to manoeuvre him inside and tried try to also tempt him into the tackle, but he stayed on his feet very well. Certainly you can learn about how to play this game if you're a young Arsenal fan, watching them every week. Campbell has come forward again. Out by Taylor. Not the best of corners by Reyes. Silva. Yakubu did well. Toure is finding him quite difficult. Vieira. Time is quick to react. Then almost left it too late. Oh. But he deserves the applause, but the gods were on his side too. Smirtin. Berkovic. Shouldn't have been allowed to get hold of it, but was. Inside to Gilberto. Goalkeepers come to meet. And Freddie Jungberg scores Arsenal's second. It's a face of satisfaction. Just on the stroke of half time. Just a Beautiful. brilliant pass, sorry, very wasn't just a brilliant pass really split the defenders and Shaka Hislop wasn't quite sure whether to come or not. Stopped. Great finish. Time and wait of the pass again. Nothing that Matthew Taylor could do. <laughs> Tried hard in Matthew Taylor, as his team have, but the class of Arsenal has told before the half time break. Henri's 26th goal of the season, Jungberg's ninth. And Arsenal in a comfort zone yet again.
Berkovic. Just one minute of uh, stoppage time. It's a foul by Gilberto. Referee played a good advantage, which didn't quite accrue. Berkovic, Yakubu, Mornar in the middle. Oh, I don't know why I had an extra touch, Yakubu. Just play it in very, very early, well, as soon as you can. Just try and turn Arthur around at the back. It's Portsmouth's first corner of the match. And they desperately need something from it. They're starting the minute of stoppage time. Oh, couldn't have been easier. And now there might be problems. It's three on three with the zoo now making it three on four. Reyes determined to do it alone. And he gets a corner. Surely not another quick Arsenal striker who can beat people with great pace. Whatever next. Blue boots again. Different, Reyes. That's an amazing goal by Toure. When it came from the corner where, where Ports was completely fell asleep, and the series of cut, well, it was almost a couple of rebounds in the end. Toure just swiveled on it. It's an excellent finish, and Cech has, has absolutely no chance. I doubt whether he even sees it until very late, it goes through the legs of the defender. You can see him trying to peer through the legs. And it's three. And I really do feel Arsene Wenger needs to find some other little uh, move to make. But it must be very dispiriting to the Portsmouth fans to have seen that clenching of both fists three times. Henri getting the first in the 25th minute, Jungberg the second in the 43rd, and Toure the third in the 46th. The uh, best team in the country, the team trying to become the first to play in four consecutive FA Cup finals. Uh, three goals to the good and already with at least... One. ...people moving off it. It was actually a great game for 24 minutes because Portsmouth competed really well. It was a great cup tie and it wasn't for the faint-hearted, no quarter given. The tackles were flying in but eventually the quality is going to take over, and that's what happened, and we sit here in awe yeah. of that performance. Yeah, I mean, they're a, they're a wonderful side to watch, I mean, unless you're against them. But apart they are wonderful. They, they have in every single position on the pitch, they have a player who is a specialist in that position. But what they have as well is in every single position, right from the yeah. goalkeeper all the way up to Henry, they've got a player who can think and play football, mm. and that's why they're so great to watch. I mean, this has been... Well, for 24 minutes, you said it was a game. I don't, I don't even agree with that. Because yeah. I sat here with a sense of, this is too easy for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Because every time they had the ball, they nearly created the chance. Yeah. And had not been for one uh, defender primus, mm. uh, it would have been more than 3-0. Yeah. Well, you said at the start of the match that the dilemma for Portsmouth was, do they come and open up? And the minute they opened up, what's over in the least, then Arsenal were just going to murder them in the counter-attack. We, we saw a number of examples. One led to, to Henri's goal, which... Well, I mean, it was just, I mean... I think Lehman's got it. He had 24 seconds in the back of the net. It's just build up. It's it's pass, move, control, play it here. Simple, basic. But Everybody but wants lethal, the ball, but lethal. Yeah. It really is. And they didn't get it through the first time. Decent interception. Comes to Henri. That is a magnificent finish. Lucky break. Oh, but made the most. Oh, but you I mean, create but your own. They've got people. You moving. create your own luck and. And because they play like that, because they, they see that Lombard sees this pass, uh, and it's not even bad defending, then you're, you're at the end of that because you, you look for these things. 
I don't think that was particularly lucky. That was just a super World Cup, uh, world class striker looking for the opportunity, and it came to him because he was reading that. Don't need to argue with me. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I'm just telling <laughs> you about certainly not. I think he's threatening you. <laughs> it, looked, it looked like it. You used to be like that when you faced him one on one. But there's, I mean, there was certainly no doubt that the second goal was just. Pure, purely it was beautiful. Poetry, wasn't it? It's so difficult to play against. It really is when, when they're coming at you, and there's there's so much, as I say, pace and movement and just control. And I mean, that's pass. a magnificent pass from Edu to Lundberg, and his lot comes out, and it's a great finish. Seems but it's also every sloppy, yeah. sloppy play from Portland because when they have the ball in this game. They've not kept it. They've tried the harder thing every time. And they get punished when they play against players like this. They get punished. It took them about 10 seconds to get the ball and put it in the net. Doesn't, and matter, all who, they did. doesn't matter who he brings in. They seem to be great players. <laughs> Edu and the, and the score of the third goal, Torre. Look at him, is it? Yeah, he's got this. Quality. I mean, you, you could argue about the defending here and, and criticise it. I mean, that's Reyes there, that not a great hit. And then it bobbles a bit. A bit. I mean, he's up there and he's, he's pinged it between some of his legs. But what this goal shows is imagination. They've, they've, Arnold has put the corner in front of goal every time, and Portsmouth are expecting that. And this time it was a short, shortish pass mm -hmm. to raise, and it, it ended up in a goal. That was, a, that was definitely the worst goal of the three. Yeah. I mean, the other two were like pass, move, control. Okay. Absolutely brilliant. Well, it's, it, it's, it's been a season of comebacks, but I say you never know <laughs> much. Right, more from here shortly, but we're going to leave Fratton Park for a news update with Matthew Amroli Waller. Gary, thanks very much. Good evening. Seven British soldiers have been injured in a lengthy gun battle in Iraq. Well, second half coming up very shortly. And later tonight, you can see highlights of both the day's cup ties, BBC One at 11 o'clock. Then tomorrow, we're at the New Den for Millwall against Tranmere Rovers. Quarterfinals of the FA Cup, that's 12.50, also on BBC One. And that'll be followed by the Six Nations rugby match between Wales and France. Three o'clock kickoff on BBC Two. Well, we've seen a demonstration of world-class football here at Fratton Park, Alan, and uh, we've enjoyed it. It's been absolutely terrific. They're great to watch. Uh, as a defender, nightmare to play against because if you're playing one, you don't want to play against pace, pace and movement. Great combination, but when when they're coming at you, they're coming at you from everywhere. And and Henri is the catalyst. You play it into his feet, and he's got so much pace, and imagination. But what they do as well, they've got that little bit of patience where they'll probe, 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 yeah. and then hit you. And the, the signs were ominous for for Portsmouth very early, Peter. I mean, the, when, the chance for Reyes when he hit the ball, fantastic well, strike. This, this is uh, this is nice and seconds into the game, uh, and it actually started quite brightly for Portsmouth. It sounds ridiculous, but it did. And then suddenly this happens. Uh, Henri gets the ball, and this is again an example of how they pass the ball. This is a great touch from uh, Lombia, and Bang. that's the versatility of that team. You see where Henri, who is the main striker, where he is, he's all the way, nearly ha on Some the halfway line, oh. but still they get this yeah. chance, you know. And this is a. I looked ten, and it would have been a great start to the match, but it, the, as we said, you know that was after 90 seconds, yeah. and every time that Portsmouth did go on the attack and maybe get three, four men forward, taking a yeah. chance. It was so susceptible to the counter-attack. Now, when you score three goals in the first half, it tends to mean you've um, had a few chances, and Vieira went close from a, from a corner. This was a really good chance, and it just shows you that, you know, they've got the height in the box as well. They can play in the deck, they can play it in the air. They've got so much variation. Good ball and difficult to defend against. It's a very, very good chance. And very, very Absolutely close. nothing you can do to defend against that either. Mm. It's just sheer class. And then obviously, Vieira is a tall player, we'll get to that. But the, as you say, it's a variation of what they do yeah. that makes it so hard to defend against. Mm. Because it, you, 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 need, you need to have a little bit of knowledge of, of what to do in order to win defensive situations. But when you don't know what's coming up, it's so difficult. Another thing is, and, you, and I counted six times in the first half that Arsenal looked for Henri over the top. So when you're talking about variation, you know, yeah. a lot of the time you look and you think, well, they only play into feet, but they don't. They well, play over well, the top it, as it well. It gives the other team something to think about. Well, exactly, like coming, that way or... coming both ways. I mean, yeah. it's, it's like, it's frightening to play yeah. against. Another example of Arsenal's um, Another example. attacking play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Again, they've got possession. You know, it's, that is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I mean, that's just, a, when you talk about imagination, it's like unbelievably good. And cuts it back, everything is perfect. Good great hit from Edu, a great save from his lot. Mm. 
And we talk about Henri all the time. This is really, really fantastic. But the pass to Henri there was brilliant. And that sort of carved the whole defence open. Uh, and it was a That's as good as it gets. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if it goes in, into the back of the net, it's fantastic. But the move, the movement, yeah. the touch, the technique, everything that you'd be looking for uh, from a football side, you've got it there. Not, not talk much about Portsmouth. Um, not really been in the game too much. But they, they had one sniff, didn't they? When it was one nil, which obviously would have been a big. Well, difference. yeah. I mean, they could have come back here. It, it's sort of a, it's not a, a real chance, but it was an opportunity, and it could have, created, it could have been a goal. But this is the only time, really, in the whole game. Where, where Portsmouth looked like they they were going to score, uh, it ends up it's it, it's not the best crossing. It was we've, more than hard. We've seen all the quality of the other end. Um, this is this is too close for the goalkeeper to to be a, a, a it deflected though, isn't it? But what you have here is a great example again, and I was going to make that point. Every time Portsmouth go forward and they come up against the back four Arsenal. They just look like a brick wall. And yeah. everything they've done at the back has just been... And I take the goalkeeper within that as well. He has created so many chances by coming out and catching balls. And, and they have just defended so well, even though Portsmouth haven't had... Alan, I talked to you, you, you before the game. I asked you why you think Arsenal are more resilient this season. And, uh, and I definitely think it's because of what happened last season. Yeah. I think they've come at this season and said, right, when you, when you had massive disappointment last season, we are good enough to go and win this championship. We're good and, enough to go and win trophies. Let's make sure we don't uh, fall at the final but, hurdle. I mean, it's an easy enough thing to say, but the yeah, doing but to is do it, and it, But there, were, there are a couple of occasions it, today that, that prove your point. Credit to them. And what, what, what they do is they work incredibly hard. But in the first 20 minutes of this match, when you talk about competing, you know, Portsmouth are there. They're putting their foot in. Here we have about five, six Arsenal players, you know, and they're going to win this. Maybe last year, they wouldn't have had so many men behind the ball. Maybe not, you know, challenging. Look at them. Yeah. So much determination <laughs> there. You just look at the, the faces of the players. Like tricking them, Well, they? and you know that, hey, we, what they're saying is we're not going to lose this. And it comes from everywhere. It, it's, not, it's not just as we saw their midfield players and defenders. Here, Ray's got the ball. He's actually lost the ball, for, lost possession for Arsenal on, on a decent attempt on a pass. But look at him here, chasing back and... He didn't win the game, but he put so much pressure on uh, Smirton that Arsenal regained possession. That's worrying, that sort of thing from strikers, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you would never have done that. Now, now, we've, now we've got to pick something out positive uh, uh, about Portsmouth's performance, and, and it came from um, the player at the back, Primus. Or Primus. He's been magnificent. Yeah. He's like, he really has. He, you know, he's tackled, he's intercepted. He's been terrific right from the word go. And to play like this in a first half where you come in 3 0 down. This is Henri, over the top, comes in, good covering, good defending, and then shows great composure as well. Plays into feet. This time it's against Lundberg, who's in a great position. Oh, you've got to get that right. If you don't, it's a penalty. He, he has been the only, for me, he's been the only uh, Portsmouth player who has played up to yeah. Premier League yeah. uh, level. Uh, and it's, it's, it might be a bit harsh saying that because they are up against a team yeah. who's he's Eng nice playing really Englishman well. As well, there's 16 nationalities out on that pitch tonight. Remarkable. This is terrific play. Again, so much composure, ability in the ball, and takes it away. Yeah. You think he's got a chance I'm, for the I'm, European Championships? Uh, no chance. Yeah. But I, I, I would <laughs> imagine that he'll have to play well in the second half. Yeah. <laughs> you went for you both went for Arsenal before the game. Any reason to? <laughs>